guys need to quiet down. <laughs> Well, they kind of tricked me because they said there's going to be a 15 minute learning session and it's going to be 30 minutes. So I'm going to tell you guys the story about how it all started and then um, some Q&A because I don't really like the presentation format as much. Um, pretty much what has happened is I traveled back to China for some tablet project early 2012. And um, while I was just going over China, I was meeting with local Bitcoin people you know, in the, in the area. And that's how I met my team that's in Elbow right now. It's four of us, me and three other people. And Jim Lee and Tang Fu. And um, you know, we had a very good discussion while I was there. We talked about like uh, what Engine was working on before, which is FPGAs, you know, we talked about the future of Bitcoin, and we talked about like you know the vulnerabilities and really and various different things. And um, then later on I went back to the States, continued to work on tablet stuff, and then June, you know, Butterfly Fast announces their ASIC line and collects five million dollars in a matter of a few weeks, and we're like, well. Based on previous IC knowledge, we're like, if you know the end game of IC is monopoly, especially when it comes to mining, where the only thing you have to compare is like hash rate versus top usage. So we're like, we need to we need to somehow draw that and just become another competitor. And we said, if it's possible for us to do it, we will. If it's not, then you know we'll see what we can do. So NJ and you know we started making contacts in Asia. You know I started making contacts in Asia, and then we try to come up with like a plan. Of, Okay, how much money do we need? What are the people we need? What are the skill sets? What are the tools? What are the materials? And then when we're finally ready in September, like, okay, if we can get crowd on the 300K, do a takeout on the on this chip, we will. If we will not, then we can walk the better things. And the community has been very good to us. And I think in about in a few weeks, two weeks after that, we've gotten all the money we need to you know, do a takeout. So we're just chugging along. And um, eventually, around November, we started doing uh, simulations for various other chipset, like 90 for the BASIC, and then like 65 on the Butterfly Labs. And then we found out that there are either lying to us competitors, or they didn't really know what they're doing. So we, we stopped worrying about them after November, December, and we kind of just like continued working on it, you know. And then, and then I think the biggest moment, and I remember like it was yesterday, was the fact. In early January, probably right after New Year's of this year, I held a tray about maybe two of these water bottles that contained 25% of the network after equivalency in chips. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I have severely, severely underestimated the power of our basics. And, and what's really interesting, I mean, we're glad that you know, our chips work fine without any much problems, but on the, on the cab ride back to the hotel, all of us were like, Wow, and any legitimate IC company, not amateurs like us, can like come and take over Bitcoin completely. And that was our big for at the time, and it still is. So, and then and then we had to decide, okay, so since nobody else is shipping, so we have to make more units. And and that's really, you know, why we're running kind of some issue now, because we had four months to prepare for a batch of 300, and then we had like a month and a half to scale to a few thousand units, and we're, we, I mean, we were, a bit optimistic about that, and that's why we're a little late. But we're working, you know, the best we can every day. And and then eventually that has eaten up too much time for our R&D process to the next generation chips, which is where our original plan was. So we are, you know, kind of trying to cut down a little bit. And then now, as recently some of you know, we have started to release all the reference design, communication, build materials, FPGA bit stream, you know, related to the album initial design, so people can free to do whatever they want, and it's in the public domain. And we're just going to sell chips, we're going to adopt the model that AMD uses with the GPUs. So we're going to resource the design for one generation chip, and then dedicate all our resources to the next generation. Like, if we have to sell chips to reach the funds for the next generation, we will. If we have to sell units, then we will. But those are just means to get to our goal, which which was what it was originally. And, and now that mm, we have started to ship batch two. We're trying to secure some shipping channels because um, there was like a slight sabotage issue we ran into that that like one of our corner of the units that snapped off in some of the deliveries. Uh, as you know, it takes a lot of force to snap like three millimeters of aluminum. So we're trying to figure out who did and why, and then we did. And now we're switching to a new shipping channel. So we're testing that, and that's what the early 20 units that went out early this week was. And some people have received it, and I think they're all in pretty good condition. So, and after we 
double check our new SMT line production, calibrate everything, and then in a few weeks from now, we were able to like ship them out in hotcakes, essentially, like 50 a day or so. Which, which Bathfield will follow immediately, and, and then hopefully once we're done with shipping, we can go back to, you know, creating as opposed to building. Which is, you know, every, all the, all my team has been complaining about how like, they don't want to deal with, you know, custom support and all this anymore. And we actually did like, um, like I did, I did some samples on my emails. I mean, granted, we don't, we don't have a custom support team, which like, you know, we apologize for, but only about 20% of the emails that we get are actual problems. So we try to like, okay, we can label them and, you know, do it when we have time. The rest of the 80 are people like, oh, can we buy these units now? Or can we pay you more money so we ship earlier? And all these like things. And we're just like, we didn't, we didn't like, give up our opportunity to mine or batch two and three, you know, ourselves for people like this. So, and, and it's really like demoralizing for the whole team to like even look at emails like that. So they're like, okay, we're no longer gonna do it and we're just gonna, you know, make units, I mean, make chips and sell chips. And um, I think that's, that's what it is. And now, these aren't questions. Yeah. Did you say you're mining your batch two or you're not mining? I'm not. That's the thing. Like we, yeah. we actually we had to sit down. It was it was an actual decision. Like the four of us. I mean, I'm worried I didn't to be driven, and I wasn't really sure about you know like the whole the whole crew with us. I mean, it was three other people, and so we're like, okay, if we're gonna mine with batch two, you know, eventually we're deciding whether we're gonna make batch two or just mine with them or do something, you know. And then and then the whole team was like, okay, let's let's actually build these units and ship them out, and and that was like a good, like. You know, amazing decision because it was either like make three point something million dollars in, in a month or ship and make a lot less money. And that was kind of cool because I was like, yeah, these are the people I'm worried about to be working with. And that's why, like, you know, um, I just want to continue this thing and, and keep going and, you know, release all this stuff to other people. And, and what's really cool is that, like, the, you know, the forums now, they, they're, instead of just the bickering of, like, where's my units, you know, why hasn't one of my ships, where's all this stuff, and now that you have See, like there's people like buying chips in groups, there are people doing like open source stuff, and, and that's what I really, you know, we really wanted to see in the beginning. I think that's super cool. And and I hope that continues as you know, you know, we release more things. And if anybody has like related questions towards the reference design or whatever, please open it and shoot on GitHub so we get to it and so on and so forth. And there hasn't been a lot of that, so I don't know if people are just reading it, or like they're you know building their units. And uh, also for those who have ordered chips, um, Probably by the end of the month, because in the, the lead time of the trip is eight to nine weeks, right? And then four weeks later, we're gonna after ordering, we're gonna send you thirty sample chips. So you can start like working on stuff right away. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. I'll take questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what you're doing is uh, really fascinating. Um, I wanted to ask about this corner that you've broken off. Uh, this I just think what you're doing is really fascinating. I think it's really cool. Um, but uh, rather than ask a technical question or one of the million other things that I'm, I'm interested in, I could probably read online. I'm interested in these broken corners. Mm -hmm. And was it just one unit or many units with it's, broken corners? Um, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, there was six, maybe seven units that had this problem. And we, I think it was really interesting that like, they had to be dropped from like three story heights. So we're like slightly confused. As to how and why, and it's still at this point, but we're we're placing them as they come. So it's like you said sabotage, as if there was some kind of uh, deliberate um, attack on these things. I'm wondering if there's any other clues. Well, um, I mean, we we kind of took care of it, sort of. Besides, <laughs> 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 it was like deliberately after you. No, I mean, uh, yeah, that's what it implies. Is it's not it's not normal shipping. Yet. Right, that's that's our initial reaction. We're like, okay, if you drop if you drop one of our Avalon boxes, you know, from your warrior or whatever, that's not going to happen. And even if you drop from like a story, that's still not going to happen. It's only when you drop from like a really high distance. And we're either like thinking about this might be a thing from um, like the plane coming off. That's like the only like high thing to think of. If they were like lazy and they just threw it off the plane. <laughs> You know, just a loading company. I don't need that new plane flying that chunk out. <laughs> but, 